What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be a part three. Uh, we were going to do a longer part three and show you the whole how to verify your smart contract and build the front end dApp for your NFT. However, I just don't have time right now, guys. I'm super busy getting ready for the launch of Crypto Pumpkins. And if you guys would like to support me, go ahead and hop in the Discord chat. Give us a like and follow on Twitter. But I am getting bombarded with questions in Telegram and in my email and people just asking me how to do this. A lot of people are asking not only for the front end minter, but also for how to verify. So today's just going to be the real quick how to verify your smart contract, all right? And then hopefully in a few weeks, I'll be able to put out that other video for everybody. All right, so if that sounds good, you can go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and let's get into it. If you're not already, make sure you sub to the channel and find links in the description below. Here we go. Okay, so again, guys, we're going to be using Hashlips' GitHub repository. If you guys haven't done so already, go follow him on YouTube. Um, give a few of his videos a like. And uh, yeah, make sure you're supporting him for, for giving all this to the community for absolutely free. If you guys want to support him, he does have a Nerdy Coder Clones NFT. And they cost about 100 Matic. So I do recommend if you're using his files that you guys go over there and mint one of his clones. Uh, but how you get to this spot, and so some people are a little bit confused on how to use the GitHub. If we are at Hashlips' GitHub, so GitHub forward slash Hashlips, you're just going to come to um, repositories. You can see there's 15 of them. So when we go to that, we can now scroll down and we can see Solidity Smart Contracts. So if we click on Solidity Smart Contracts, there's going to be a folder that says contracts and there's two different ones one has the version where you can split payments and the other is the regular nft there's also several versions of this i'm not going to go through all the differences but basically um, one has the pre-sale and one has full commission i'm not i'm actually not even sure what some of these other ones are but what I tend to do is just to grab the flat one. This one's going to be the full one. And it's also the flattened version. So if you want to use it on Polygon, you're going to need this. I also found using the flattened versions is a little bit easier to verify your smart contract as you're not needing to import anything additional. So click into that and we can see the code. And we see at the top here, starting with the license, we're just going to copy all of that all the way down to the very bottom. It's like 1400 lines or something like that. We'll see here in a second. So 1381. Next, we want to come over to remix.ethereum.org. And if you guys don't know what you're doing at this point, go back and watch my previous video. I teach you everything you need to know how to do this. I'm just going to show you real quick in this as a recap, okay? So I opened up a new workspace. You go click that plus and do new workspace, and it's going to look something like this. We're just going to real quick um, delete everything out of here, okay? So um, close all these down, and in contracts, I'm just going to highlight all of them. Right click, delete all, okay? And I'm just going to delete out all these scripts. Right click, delete all, okay? read me's everything guys we're just deleting it all okay so now you have a blank um here delete all this json data delete now everything is blank okay you have nothing in here so under contracts we're going to add a new contract and we're going to name that whatever we want to name our contract i'm just going to name it nft test so nft test.soul and it opens up a blank file all right so at this point we're ready to paste in what we copied out of hashlips's github and we can see and verify that we are now at 1381 and if we scroll all the way back up to the top it should be the very beginning license very good now scrolling down to about line 1233 we can see the beginning of the actual contract that we were used to from the last tutorial where we can change all of this information how much everything costs 
what our contract's name is, um, you know, the max number of mint, all of this various information. So again, guys, if you need any of that part of the tutorial, that is in the previous video. I'm just gonna leave everything the same here and um, not mess with it at all. So, you know, it is what it is, here we go. And we're gonna come to the side uh, panel here where we have the compiler right there. And we're gonna click auto compile and enable optimization, all right? And once you have that on, it's gonna try to compile it and we're getting an error, multiple SPDX license identifier. So if we go into the code, there's one at the very top of the file and there's also a um, license right here at 1233. So what we're gonna do is just delete that second one out and just remove those lines, all right? So everything should be good now. We can compile this smart contract. So once we've removed the second license, that should remove the error and you should be able to successfully compile this contract. Next, you're gonna need a flattener. So you come to the plugins and type in flat and you'll see the flattener, you just need to activate it. Once your flattener is activated, you'll be able to come here and you can now flatten your compiled contract, okay? So it's very important you have to compile first and then flatten. Okay, we've now flattened and it says um, flatten contract copy to clipboard. So we wanna save NFT test underscore flat dot soul. Click that and it's going to save a second version. Okay, so once you have that second file and it's named now NFT test underscore flat for me, but it, for you it will be whatever your contract name was underscore flat, you're just gonna go ahead and recompile that file now that we flattened it. So there we go, it looks compiled and now we're ready to launch, okay? So for today's video, again, we're just gonna use the Rinkaby test network so we're not spending real ether. And go to web3 injected let's log into my metamask and i'm going to make sure i'm on the rinkaby network here yep i'm on the rinkaby network and i'm on the correct account okay so make sure you're not on the ethereum mainnet or you will be spending real ether uh, you only want to be on rinkaby for this unless you're ready to go live you've already done your testing next we're going to choose the one we want the contract we'd like and for us it is going to be um, the NFT test underscore flat dot soul. So choose the correct contract. Click your drop down here and you're going to be able to name your contract. I'm just going to go uh, tester and symbol is going to be T1. And for my base, I'm just going to do replace because we're going to replace it later. And string, I'm just going to do the same thing replace. So um, this is for the not revealed and the revealed if you have a reveal function. So you can have a base URI for a holder. Uh, image for everyone to see and then the real um, base URI is for the actual metadata for your NFT. That's the only real update since the last uh, tutorial I did so you now have the ability to set a base URI for both. So if all that looks good let's go ahead and click transact. We're now going to deploy to Rinkaby testnet just confirm the gas and wait for that transaction we can see down below here creation of NFT pending, so just waiting on the transaction. There we go, our uh, contract was successfully deployed to Rinkaby. So before we go any farther, this is a very important part of the step that you need to make sure to take note of. Right here next to the transact button is a little copy to clipboard, so we want to copy that, okay? And it says copied value to clipboard. We're going to open up a new text document or wherever you guys want to paste this in and just paste that in. It's going to look like this, a whole bunch of bytecode, okay? So once you have that, you're good to go. Make sure you save this file. You're going to need this to verify your smart contract. Once we have that bytecode saved, we're next going to come up to our MetaMask wallet. And we're going to go on contract deployment, which should be the last transaction you've made if you've been following along. And we're going to just click this arrow to view over on Etherscan. Now keep in mind this is Rinkaby.etherscan because we are testing on Rinkaby network, not Ethereum mainnet. Here we see our contract address.
and once we're on our contract we can click on contract and here we see a bunch of bytecode and it says verify and publish just go ahead and click there to verify our smart contract it's going to preload in your address so don't mess with that next we're going to do compiler type if you did the flat version it's going to be a single file and uh, we're going to choose that compiler version for us it was 8.7 but just check over on your um, remix you can see up at the top if you go to the compiler what version you're doing so 8.7 it looks good and then we're going to choose our license type if you're using the same a uh, contract that I'm using and you're following along it's going to be this number five public license version three so check that and just verify everything looks good single file the correct version that you are using for your compiler and that version of the open source license and continue it's now gonna again ask us for our compiler but it's already filled in from last step so don't mess with that we're going to choose optimization choose yes if you had optimization on again we can go back and actually it looks like i didn't have optimization on so let me uncheck that i thought i did but apparently i didn't turn that on doesn't really matter it just helps like optimize it for small files to make it a little bit easier to read or whatever so if you had it on check yes if you didn't have it on check no next we're going to enter the solidity contract code okay so come back to remix and from the very top here, we're going to choose um, line one and go all the way down to the bottom. And it's going to be 1382, it looks like. So copy that. And just paste in this area where it allows you to paste it in. Make sure you have all that code. You can go up to the top and see the top line and then the bottom line and make sure that all looks good. Next, you're going to come down here, and if you don't have anything in here, that's fine. If you do, just delete it out. Okay, so this is why we saved that um, piece of information earlier. We're going to need to paste it in here to verify the contract. So come back to wherever you saved it. And what you're going to do is look from the very end until the end of the zero string. So it goes and it looks like it ends here, but then it has some more numbers and it starts up again. And you want to just keep going all the way back until all of the zero strings stop completely. We stop getting um, long strings of zeros. And it looks like it's right here. So I'm going to click on that and just copy everything else but that all the way back. Okay, so um, copy that. Come back in and paste it. And you can see it should be a few lines like this, guys. Um, not the whole thing, um, but there is a good number of zeros. Next, we'll come to the bottom. Choose I am not a robot. And finally, verify and publish. There we go. Uh, verify and publish contract source code was successful. And we generated the bytecode and ABI for contract address so if we click back on our contract now we can see under code we now have our code and we have the contract ABI very good guys um, so now what we can do if we want is we can read and write from the contract here from etherscan so you no longer need to interact with the contract from the back end here on remix if you were doing that so if we come to write contract, and again, we're going to need to connect to Web3 and just connect our MetaMask. And if we are on the correct account that we deployed, we can now write to the contract. Most people don't verify their source code until after the mint because it prevents bots from coming in and using the back end, um, you know, and actually minting here through Etherscan. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Do a little more research and figure out what's best for your NFT project. So again, guys, that's everything for this one. Just a real quick video. Hopefully that satisfies some of you guys that have been hitting me up on how to do this. Um, again, I will do the front end part, the DAP, in a few weeks. I just have a lot on my plate. If it's not a super quick video or something I already kind of um, have planned and need to get done, then it's just getting pooked. However, if you did enjoy this one, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Share it on social media. 
If you're not already, do consider subscribing. Happy crypto, and let's get that coin.